You're listening to Mammal Watching with Charles Foley and John Hall. You can find other episodes at mammalwatching.com slash podcast. You know, I want to see this animal. So I went out there and I placed a few camera traps. And um, I was able to place them in front of burrows. It took a while, but I got my first picture of a giant armadillo. And, and that picture really changed my life because I was absolutely hooked. When I saw that first image, I mean, I could not believe that, um, you know, this giant animal, this prehistoric looking animal actually existed. And it existed underneath my feet for all this time. Uh, giant armadillos are solitary, nocturnal, and occur at low densities. So they spend all day deep underground in these burrows, and they only uh, come out at night for um, about five, on average, five to six hours and to feed on ants and termites. So you never get to see them because they're strictly nocturnal. So when we when I first started this the project, you know, I got my first picture of a giant armadillo at first. I was getting, because I, I placed the cameras in front of burrows, I was getting lots of images of animals going in and out of the burrows, using the burrows. These burrows, um, we have now documented over 80 species using giant terminal burrows 80. as a refuge against extreme temperatures. So when it's really hot outside, it's cool in the burrow. And when it's really cool, cold or cool outside, it's warm. It's always about 25, 26 degrees inside the burrow. Um, it's a place for foraging because the giant animal breaks roots and stuff. So there's rich insect life. So animals go mm -hmm. in to feed. Um, it's a refuge against predators. Um, but And also because lots of species use it, of course, it also attracts predators. So, mm -hmm. so basically, here's a species we knew nothing about and yet plays such an important part, uh, such an important role in the ecosystem. But there are some species that are kind of the holy grail, right? But I had to say on the top of my list is the bush dog. Oh, oh wow. You've <laughs> <Yes>. seen him. <laughs> I've seen it once in the wild, uh -huh. right? Uh. And um, I was, I, it, was, it was years ago. I was, I was walking a transect and, 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 and three bush dogs came running along the path. And I had my camera. I took it out of the pouch I had. I, but I, I could not put it in front of my face because I was so enthralled by seeing these animals. You know, really when you, your mouth is just wide open and you just stare at them, it's really just incredible experience. If you'd like to listen to the full episode, then visit mammalwatching.com slash podcast.